Hi friends, uh, welcome to our new session. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about input output addressing modes of 8086. And it is coming under the data transfer instructions in 8086. Okay, so this input output addressing, how uh, it is specified by the instruction in and out. Okay, that is uh, the opcode for representing the input operation is in. Okay, and the opcode for representing the output operation is out. So, this in and out instructions are used in 8086 to represent the input output operations, right? Okay, then this input output addressing mode, it's, it supports direct addressing and indirect addressing mode. Okay, so first we can discuss direct addressing mode. Okay, suppose if we use 8-bit data, sorry, 8-bit input output address. Okay, we get a range of, that is we get a range of 00, 00 H to FFH. Okay, and this will gives you uh, the 256 input output ports. Okay, this will give you a 256 input output port if you are considering an 8-bit input output address. Okay, and this input, uh, see in this instruction, this input output address input output uh, port address it is directly it is specified in the instruction right that is in al comma ath in is the opcode for representing input operation in 8086 and al it is a register right it is a register and it is of what 8 bit it is an 8 bit register okay then this ath it is the input output port address and it is directly specified in the instruction okay so what does this mean is that al will be getting a data from the input output port address 80 okay al will be getting a data uh, uh, from the input output port address 80 that's it okay that is about direct addressing and next is indirect addressing mode so in uh, indirect addressing mode suppose if we use a 16 bit uh, uh, input address okay 16 bit input address will get a range of will get a range of that is 0000 h to f f f h okay so we uh, so the total input ports will be 65536 input output ports will be there that is you, we are using 16 bit input output port address input output address okay and consider and also this input in, in indirect addressing mode the uh, in, input output port address is given by dx register it is given by dx register that is here you can see here in this uh, instruction move dx comma 2000 h in al comma dx that is this in 2000 it is getting uh, this address is copied into the dx register okay move uh, move instruction is used for copying the right copying the that is 2000 is copied into the dx register and in al comma dx means that al will get a data will get a data uh, 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 and it, uh, from the input output port address 2000 and it is given by dx register right it is given by dx register so in indirect addressing mode the input output port address is given by dx register that is in direct addressing mode we can directly specify the input output port address can be directly specified in the instruction itself but in indirect addressing mode it is given by dx register that is al will get a data from the input output uh, port address given by dx input output port address that is 2000 and it is given by dx register okay and also this uh, direct addressing mode it is also called as fixed port addressing and indirect addressing mode it is also called as variable port addressing okay and next uh, the format of specifying the input operation in 8086 okay so listen here in destination register comma source port though in is the opcode for representing input operation in 8086 and it is specified like this in destination register comma source port okay and 
the source the source it can be it is an input output port address source it is an input output port address okay and if the address is 8 bit if the input output address is, uh, port address is 8 bit it is given in the instruction by using direct addressing mode if it is 8 bit okay if the input output port address is 8 bit it is given by the direct addressing mode and if the address is if the input output address is 16 bit it is given by the dx register using indirect addressing mode right it is given by the dx register using indirect addressing mode so this source port source it can be source it can be input output port address it is an input output port address okay and this destination destination uh, it can be that is a uh, uh, destination it is a input it takes the it, it means that it loads the content that that is this instruction means it loads the destination register with the contents of uh, input output port specified by the source okay specified by the source that is what this instruction means is that it will loads the destination register with the contents of input output port specified by the source and i told that the source can be in the input output port address and it is if it is an 8 bit it is it is given in the instruction by using direct addressing mode and if it is 16 bit it is given by dx register using indirect addressing mode okay and this destination and about this destination it destination it can be this can uh, take the form of any a register that is you know a it stands for accumulator and accumulator register is used for performing arithmetical and logical operations right so it can uh, so this destination it can be of any a register so that it can get data from the input output device okay so if if we are getting an 8 bit data suppose if you are getting an 8 bit data it will be from uh, any al or ah register that is al is an 8 bit register ah is an 8 bit register so if you are getting 8 bit data it will be from al or ah register and if you are getting a, a 16 bit data it will be from ax register it will be from ax register so that's it so consider this example in al comma ath in al comma ath this means that al will gets a al will gets data from the uh, input output port address at that is al will be getting 8 bit data 8 bit data from the input output port address at okay and next is in ax comma ath that means here ax will be getting the data L, uh, ax will be getting 16 bit data from the input output port address 80 okay then in al comma dx means what the al will be getting the getting the data given by the dx given by dx okay al will be getting the uh, data this and this uh, is what indirect addressing mode right and it is given by this input output port address is given by dx okay and also in uh, it will get an 8 bit data and uh, this in ax comma dx means what ax will be getting a data and it is given by data from the input output port address given by dx okay. x will be getting 16 bit data okay that's about in that is about in it is specified input it is specified by using in or opcode is in okay next is output okay output operation that is output operation we use for output operation we use the opcode out right opcode out so uh, it is specified like this out destination port comma source register it loads the destination uh, port it loads the destination input output port with the contents of source register okay with the contents of source register that is uh, see the instruction out ath comma al okay it means that input output port ath will get on 8 bit data from al okay and next is out ath comma ax it means that input output port ath it will get 16 bit data from ax okay and next is out dx comma l means that input output port whose address is given by dx 
okay whose address is given by dx it will get data from l 8 bit data from l okay next last is out dx comma ax it means that the input output port uh, whose address is given by dx it will get uh, 16 bit data from ax okay that's it that is uh, for in and uh, uh, out operation that is in and out instructions in 8086 okay